Watch you guys, you should enable this setting on Windows 11 and Windows 10. It's basically turning on DNS over HTTPS. So we're going to take a look at how to do that. What is a DNS over HTTPS? Basically, when you visit a website, your computer does not know what the domain name is, i.e. google.com. That is the website that we see, but it generally asks for a DNS server using the domain or IP address of that website. For example, if we look at Google's, uh, Google will be 142.250.196.78. So you can see I'll search for this IP here and it will take us to google.com. Uh, but we have the domain name there, google.com, to make it a little bit easier for us. Okay, so let's take a look inside the settings here. Inside here, we can go to network and internet. If we click on here, you will either see ethernet or Wi-Fi, depending on what connection you are using. So I'm using an ethernet, so I'll click on this here. And down below here, you're going to see IP assignment and also DNS server assignment here. So we can click on the edit button for the DNS server and click on this one here. You see it's set to automatic DHCP. It doesn't mean we have to leave it on this. We can actually change this to manual. And basically, we can now choose IPv4 and have this on. And now we can have our preferred DNS inside Windows itself. So we can change this. Uh, to whatever we want. So let me go and show you exactly what you can change this to. Now under the IP version 4, we can have a preferred DNS and a alternative DNS. So these are the options available here. We've got Google DNS primary and secondary, Cloudflare DNS primary and secondary, and also a Quad9 DNS primary and secondary. So choosing which one you want, uh, you can put them in here. You can then do the encryption part here if you wanted to. So encrypted only DNS and over HTTPS or encrypt, encrypted preferred, uh, unencrypted allowed. So you can put it on whatever you want to put yours on and select which one you want to select here. So you need to put in the exact uh, primary and secondary numbers here, just like I'm showing you. And that should have that set. And once you've done that, you can save it and that will then I have these on all the time and it will be your preferred DNS rather than your ISP uh, DNS. So once you've got those saves, you can hit the save button and then you can basically go over to Google and do a search on whatever you want and you'll be using your preferred DNS, which you put in there rather than your ISP's DNS. So if you want to use IP version 6, then I'll show you some ones you can use for IP version 6. So let's go back into network and internet here click on here and go back into our ethernet or wi-fi settings here and then we can go back to our dns server and click edit and now we can toggle on the ip version 6 and here near we can put in here our preferred and our alternative dns settings now you can see these numbers are different so you'd have to put them in exactly as you can see on the screen here you can do a search on the internet and you should be able to find these uh, codes anywhere. So I'll quickly type one of these out so you can see it. Pretty much you can copy and paste them if you find them on the internet. I'll try and leave them in the video description if I remember, and you'll be able to copy and paste them from there. And once we've got this done, you can put these in, and you can see here the preferred DNS encryption. You can copy this, paste it in the bottom, and just make a little change at the end four digits here because the uh, number is exactly the same apart from the end four digits. So just change those and then you can click save and you can use a preferred DNS or an alternative DNS on your IP version 6 on here as well by setting this up. So just click on save once you're done and you're good to go. Once you've got your settings changed, you can head over to the browsing experience security check by Cloudflare. Click on the check my browser and this will check your browser to make sure your browser settings are secure. You can see we have our settings secure apart from the secure SNI at the end, that is not a feature that has been enabled at the moment, but eventually in the future that will become a thing and you'll be able to enable that as well. So at the moment it's not, so you're always going to see a red cross there. Now you can always make these changes in your browser as well by going to your settings and going into your privacy and security. Inside here, you can go down to uh, the security again on here, pull down a little bit and you should see you secure DNS. 
you can put it into with and you can check which one you want to do here whether it be cloudflare here select that one and you'll be able to use cloudflare on your browser so whichever way you want to do it on your browser or whether you want to do it on windows i prefer to do it on windows it's a lot more better for me and again if you're doing this you can also put the tick on always use secure connections make sure you're using uh, the right dns if you're doing you don't need to do both but if you are going to be doing both make sure you're using the same for each i.e cloudflare on your browser and cloudflare on windows and you should be good to go and you should be using an encrypted uh, dns then so it's that simple and you'll be using the internet in a much more secure way so I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just a quick, simple video for you today, guys. I shall catch you in another one. Before I go, I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. I really do appreciate the support. If you fancy a chat, you can always pop on our Discord server. The link is in the video description. It's free to join. And I hope to see you over there. Thanks again for watching. And thanks for your continued support. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.